today we're going to be showing you how to make your footage go from this to this in Adobe Lightroom. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sammy from Go Sammy Joe, and today we are going to be showing you guys how to make a LUT in Lightroom. So for those of you guys that don't know what a LUT is, it stands for lookup table. It's basically a bunch of settings for your video that deal with color and your color grading, your contrast, all that stuff. So it's basically like a preset for your video. If you've ever color graded Premiere, you might know it's a little bit difficult to kind of get the look that you're going for. That's why we're showing you this way in Lightroom because I like editing in Lightroom a little bit better. I feel like I have more control of my settings and stuff. So, and actually, if you have a favorite preset in Lightroom, you can actually take that preset and turn it into a LUT and put it on your videos, which I think is so cool. If you guys find this video helpful at any moment, please make sure to leave a like, leave a comment down below, and make sure to subscribe for more videos. Alright, so let's dive into my computer. Okay, so we are in my computer now, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your footage that you want to color grade. Now, uh, this is an example. You guys might have seen this video up on my channel recently. Um, this is already graded footage, so I'll take the layer off and you can see what it was before. And then this is it now. So we want, for this video, we wanted to give it like a bit of a western feel to it. So that's how we got that look. So, um, so that's all color graded already. But we're going to take some footage that isn't color graded yet. So we are going to start with this clip here. Because I think it's got a cool tonal range here. So what you want to do is you want to start off by choosing a frame that you think is a good representation of what you're going to be editing. So you don't want to do just a close-up of something. You want to choose something that has um, a wide variety. So we, you know, we got skin tones, we've got the sky, um, we've got the landscape. So this is a good example, I think. So what you want to do is you want to grab, um, you want to grab the shot right here. You can title it anything. We are going to title it one at JPEG, save it to your desktop. Okay. So let's see. There it is. Just popped up right here. You guys get to see my messy, messy desktop. Okay. So from there, you guys are, are going to be downloading um, this new software. I will um, put the link in down below for you guys to get to it. So once you download that, you just go right into it. So you, the first thing you're going to do is click Generate Hauled. Okay. Um, and you're just going to say Open and then see it come up right here as a neutral one. Perfect. So then we are going to go into Lightroom and we are going to put both of these in here. Okay, now that both are in here, we're going to focus on the photo first and you're going to edit it the way you like. So. We're not going to do anything too crazy, but um, do want to give this, to, you can do anything you want with it, but I want to give it a pretty western feel. So bring up maybe the exposure, play with the exposure, the highlights a little, the shadows, um, we're going to play with the vibrance a little. Maybe like I said, you can do anything, but I do recommend not going too crazy with any of um, with any of the settings because it can be uh, it's a little bit different with video. It can be a little bit more harsh. So, okay. so we want to we're gonna give it a little bit of a fade today because we're going for that western look. I think. Um, go to oranges, we can either, I like having it nice and bright because I think it makes it look more desert-like, like this. Put the settings a little. Okay, 
right, so right here I think is a pretty cool western feel to it. So I'm going to add just a little bit of contrast in then too. I think that looks pretty cool. So uh, from there you're going to right click and then you're going to go to settings and then copy settings. Um, yep, and all these things we are going to copy. Then we are going to go into your hauled over here and we're going to hit control, um, right click, settings, and paste settings. You see how I changed it? So then from there we're going to file, export. We're going to name this video left. Okay, export. So when you go back to your desktop, so when you go back to your desktop, you'll see that it was saved right here. So then we want to go to, um, then we want to click, go back to your let generator and go convert to cube. Uh, select your um, haul that you need, boom, and it says done. So this is it right here. So usually I have like a folder on my desktop where I save all the LUTs that I make. So to apply the LUT, you want to go to File, New, and then hit Adjustment Layer. Okay, it'll come up down here and then we're going to drag this on top of our file. Then you are going to come over to... You can go to color up here and it will bring over the panel over here. So you want so you're going to have two options. When you go to basic correction, it can say that you can upload a lot here, but I usually go to creative and upload the look here because um, as you can see underneath there is an intensity so you can so if you want you can only put like a little bit of your let over it and um, you have that control to how much you want of it so I'll show you in a sec so uh, we're gonna go to desktop video left that we just created and bam so what I was talking about is um, you know you can have part of it or you know just some of it this looks really nice Okay, and now you can see the LUT in action. Looks great. Again, that's before, that's after, before, after. I think it turned out great. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video on how to create a LUT in Lightroom. I hope you guys find this useful. I know I use this all the time to make my LUTs, so I hope you guys um, take advantage of it and try doing it for yourself. So if you guys like this video, uh, please make sure to leave a like. If you have any comments or questions about what I just did, make sure to leave them below and make sure to subscribe to see more videos in the future. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.